What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Radio Sports Network and today we're going to be talking about the Miami Dolphins against the Oakland Raiders. Now you guys are going to be a bunch of videos for me today. Uh, I'd like to first off apologize that I haven't been active for the past couple days. Uh, if you are brand new to my channel, you know nothing about like my past in terms of like video games and stuff like that. If you aren't and you've been here for a while, you know the fact that uh, I used to attempt to play uh, competitive COD, but I was never even like really that good and teams just kept falling apart and for those of you who know Call of Duty World War 2 came out. So I've kind of been playing This game like every single like since it came out. I've just been playing it uh, Pretty much non-stop. So it's kind of been my life and that kind of is that sounds lame for the past Three days. That's all I've been doing. Wow. Okay. That actually doesn't sound too great. <laughs> Um, but besides that, well, fuck, damn. <laughs> besides that, um, yeah, that I just, I, that's what I've been doing. So, let's get into the Oakland Raiders against the Miami Dolphins. Let me just take a quick sip of my coffee. All right, let's get into it. So, the Oakland Raiders and the Miami Dolphins play tonight at Hard Rock Stadium on Sunday night football. So, we're going to have to wait. What at the time that I'm recording this seven more hours or eight more hours for the Miami Dolphins to Be in a game today, which sucks because it's football Sunday and you want to watch the game now I want to watch that 1 p.m. Game in an hour, but at the same time This is like a huge game for both teams the Raiders lose I believe they go to three and five if the Dolphins win they go to five and three and because the Bills lost I think the Dolphins move up into that spot for the playoffs. So that just creates a whole different dynamic for the Dolphins, and it puts them back into that spot. It puts them back into the race. And look, they started off, what, 1-4 and four last year, and we all said, you know, playoffs are done. Right now, this could be the game that seals their fate. They need this win badly, and I think that they'll get it done I think they can win the game, and I know a lot of people were really, really upset about the J.H.I. trade. I mean, I've been getting comments from, I understand the trade, you know, he's just my favorite player, I wish that we didn't trade him, but I hope he does well anyway. And then I'm getting trades from, fire, or I'm getting comments saying, fire Adam Gates, he's an idiot, fire Tannenbaum, fire Green, I don't care what they've done, they're idiots, what are they doing, they don't know this team, I know this team better than they do. And it's like, all of that together is just, and you know, you want to keep it like, I'm really, really shocked, and I want to thank you guys for that video in terms of the fact that you guys have really dialed back from what I thought it was going to be. I thought, in my opinion, that I was going to get crushed in that video from the side that says they understand and the side that says that they don't care. I thought I was going to get crushed, and you guys really were able to, and I said, you know, just take it to a business perspective. Take the, the love for him out of, like, your mind. You guys really were able to sit there and listen to the video and kind of construct your own opinions uh, towards your own like bias taking your bias and listening to my side, but making your own opinion and that's something that I, I really got to thank you guys for because Like I said, I really thought I was going to be axed in that video, but uh, Apparently The uh, Jaguars deactivate Leonard Fournette for violating team rule anyways, so yeah I think the Dolphins can get it done, even though the J.H.I. thing happened. Uh, I really want to see who starts at running back. I kind of hope it's Kenyon Drake. I mean, I've heard, and I'm sure, like, everyone's heard so many great things about Kenyon Drake, from Saban to Kiffin to teammates, where I want to just see him start. I want to see him do it. Like, I've never really been a huge fan of Damian Williams, um, but I've really do like Kenyon Drake I was a really big supporter of JJ like I said in the video uh, in terms of like when he got drafted I was really hyped I was like man we just got this steal in the fifth round um but yeah I'm hoping that Kenyon Drake can kind of be the same thing where he's a steal uh, I know Ian Rappaport this morning said something about JJ it's just him with Adam Gase and nothing about the knees I think that's got to be the, the, the knees have to be somewhere in there uh, in terms of J.H.I. thing, but I'm hoping the offense can turn a new leaf tonight. Um, you know, 
there's going to be, I think, three corners out tonight for the Raiders, and they've already don't, they already don't have a good secondary. Their front seven is okay. I mean, they have Khalil Mack. They have um, Bruce Irvin, and their front seven's decent, right? But they're, they're, you know, their safeties aren't that good. Their corners aren't that good. So you got to – and with those three corners being out, that's got to be a problem. I mean, they get OB Melifon you – back to this weekend tonight but I, I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make he's been on ir this is gonna be his first game in the nfl so i don't know how much of a difference that'll make they'll probably go at him early uh and then you gotta wonder about jay cutler obviously you know he has the bruised ribs now uh and that's obviously an issue uh but you know that you gotta look even if you hate you know jay cutler you gotta give him some type of props for the fact that he has broken ribs and he's wanted to come in in the game that he broke them he wanted to start last week and was pushing for it and then he wanted to start this week and Adam Gase didn't let him come back in the game or start last week and if you're going to say he doesn't want to play football for a guy that just broke ribs said he was having trouble breathing but he wanted to come back in that game to help them win and he wants to start against the Ravens you gotta love that uh, but if he doesn't if he goes out let's say he gets hit really hard and he goes out I have faith in Matt Moore to finish the game. I'm just hoping that it's just not for the rest of the season. I mean, look, as much shit that I give Matt Moore, you know, he is better than I would hope him to be. He's not horrible. He's bad, but he's not like Johnny Manziel or Cody Kessler or fucking what's his name. Let me think of another, like, what is it, Josh Jackson? No. Something, Josh, something. He used to be the starting quarterback for the Giants. You get what I mean. Like, or the backup quarterback for the Giants. I don't know, man. He's just, he's whatever. He's, he's whatever. I don't know. I don't like him, but I think he can finish a game. I just don't think he can start it. But regardless, um, you got to give Cutler props. Uh, you got to give Matt more props for not bitching that he's not starting. You know, he's regardless of anything, he's all class. Um, defensively, I think we'll be fine. Um, we got two big corners, and they're going to be going against Crabtree and Cooper. Cooper tends to drop the ball a lot, and Crabtree's been doing the same thing as of late. So it'll be interesting to see that. Uh, besides that, man, I'm just kind of excited for the game. I I'm I'm super excited. I'm wearing my Tan Hill jersey. I want to wear the white one. I just can't find it. Uh, but I have this one that I had signed by a bunch of people. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, there will be a couple more videos coming out today. Uh, this Obviously, the week 8 or week 9. 9. Week 9 predictions will come out today as well as some other videos. And then, obviously, the halftime report and the final report uh, from the game. So, hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. I will see you guys next time. And, as always, peace.